Hey, genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outside, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022, which is almost over now, and subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities, all over the globe. It is social activist, come good-hearted preacher, Professor Esuresh, back with a sheer ecstasy, enticed with altruistic curiosity to learn the unknowns like an infant. For my 200 second 202 video on angle of publication on YouTube today, 28th December 2022, Wednesday. The topic for today is do we like to know how to prolong your lifespan? Before we proceed, I take this opportunity to assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time, as you might be aware. We are martyr, but our videos are immortal, so we we'll live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 202 videos so far, including this particular video for the benefit of society, that too absolutely free. Lifespan, also known as durability, like a product. Durability is how long anything, whether it is a product or biological life form, is fit for use. The period during which something is functional, as between birth and death. Permanence by virtue of power to resist stress or force. Existing for a long time. Capable of withstanding wear and tear and decay. Very long lasting. Our lifespan is dependent mainly on variables listed. Our DNA, genes, natural immunity, our food choices, our living lifestyle, good habits. It is practically impossible to alter our DNA inherited from our parents, but other factors can certainly be governed, modified. With the advancement of science and technology, even genetic alteration is possible in this contemporary space age. In this video, we will be focused more on ways and means to boost our natural immunity. That is inherited. Immunity, the state of not being susceptible, the condition in which an organism can resist disease, quality of being unaffected by some something. In biology, immunity is a capability of multicellular organisms to resist harmful microorganisms. Immunity involves both specific and non-specific components. Immunity is a complex biological system that can recognize and tolerate whatever belongs to the self and to recognize and reject what is foreign, non-self. All life forms have natural immunity, long-lasting, permanent, which is a barrier to all kinds of infections. Induced immunity is through vaccines and medicines. The effort is short, effect is short term, temporary, and too much results in reduction of natural immunity. Hence, it is better to avoid these methods. Barrier defenses include skin, mucus, lyosin, and acidic pH in the stomach and on the skin. Phagocytosis is a type of white blood cell that helps break down that helps break down pathogenic bacteria in our body. Natural killer cells circulate in the blood. Natural killer cells detect against virus and cancer cells. Natural killer cells release chemicals that leads to cell death, though this is only in vertebrates only. Antimicrobial peptides kill pathogens, they disorder membranes. Some antimicrobial peptides kill both bacteria and fungi. Inflammatory response is a response that upon injury the specific place becomes inflamed and warm to the touch. The reason why the side of injury becomes red and warm is because the blood vessel because of the blood vessel dilation causing warming and reddish color. White cells, carpuscles in the blood are like warriors in our blood fighting all kinds of infections. The immune system has innate and adaptive components. Innate immunity is present in all metasomes. Adaptive immunity is only occurs in vertebrates, animals having a bony or cartilo, cartilaginous skeleton with a segment of spinal column and a large brain enclosed in a skull or cranium. The immune system is a network of biological processes that protects an organism from diseases. It detects and responds to a wide variety of pathogens, from viruses to parasitic worms, as well as cancer cells and objects 
such as wood splinters, distinguishing them from the organisms who own healthy tissue. Nearly all organisms have some kind of immune system. Bacteria have a rudimentary immune system in the form of enzymes that protect against virus infections. Other basic immune mechanisms evolved in ancient, pl ancient plants and animals that remain in their modern descendants. These mechanisms include phagocytosis, antimicrobial peptides called defensins, and the complement system. Dysfunction of the immune system can cause autoimmune diseases, inflammatory diseases, and cancer. Immunodeficiency occurs when the immune system is less active than normal, resulting in recurring and life threatening infections. Autoimmunity results from hyperactive immune system attacking normal tissues as if they are foreign organisms. Cell mediated immunity. There are two major subtypes of T cells the killer T cells and the helper T cells. In addition, there are regulatory T cells which have a role in modulating immune response. Killer T cells are a subgroup Hold on, I am doing some editing also simultaneously Yeah, I am done for the time. Killer T cells are a subgroup of T cells that kill cells that are infected with the viruses and other pathogens or are otherwise damaged or dysfunction. Helper T cells regulate both innate and adaptive immune responses and uh, help determine which immune responses the body makes to a particular pathogen. These cells have no cyto cytotoxic activity and do not kill infected cells or clear pathogens directly. They instead control the immune response by directing other cells to perform these tasks. Hormones can act as immunomodulators, altering the sensitivity of the human immune system. Immunodeficiencies occur when one or more of the components of the immune system are inactive. An immune response is a reaction which occurs within an organism for the purpose of defending against foreign invaders. These invaders include a wide variety of different microorganisms including viruses, bacteria, parasites and fungi which could cause serious problems to the health of the host organism if not cleared from the body. Natural immunity boosters, vitamins, especially vitamin D, the immune system is affected by a lack of adequate sleep and rest and sleep deprivation is detrimental to human immune function. Adults need seven to seven hours of sleep per day. Physical exercise has a positive effect on the immune system and depending on the frequency and intensity, the pathogenic effects of diseases caused by bacteria and viruses are moderated. Best exercise is walking briskly for half an hour every day and it does not cost any money. Deep breathing detoxifies our lungs and airways. Meditation is a good stress buster. Many times stress is the root cause of physical sickness. Drink warm water throughout the day. Spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander and garlic are recommended in cooking. Take 7 fresh 10 grams 1 teaspoon in the morning. Diabetics should take sugar free chan fresh. Drink herbal tea decoction made from tulsi. <coughs> cinnamon, black pepper, dry ginger and rice in once or twice a day, add jaggery, natural sugar and our fresh and our fresh lemon juice to your taste if needed. Golden milk, half teaspoon, turmeric powder in 150 ml hot milk once or twice a day. Apply sesame oil or coconut oil or ghee in both the nostrils in morning and evening. Oil pulling therapy, take one tablespoon sesame or coconut oil in mouth, do not drink, swish in the mouth for 2 to 3 minutes and split it up followed by warm water rinse. This can be done once or twice a day. For dry cough, sore throat, steam inhalation with the fresh mint leaves or caraway seeds 
can be practiced once in a day. Cloud powder mixed with natural sugar or honey can be taken two to three times a day in case of cough or throat irritation. Daily intake of natural herbs and spices in moderate quantities, clean environment, breathing medical quality oxygen, increase intake of organic fruits and uh, vegetables, reduce intake of ultra processed foods with high salt, refined sugar oil, reduce intake of red meat, use olive oil for shallow fry and garnishing, use a variety of edible oils, don't stick to one particular oil all the time, keep changing, practice food permit to the core, eat three times a day, never fast, especially never skip breakfast, Consuming, consume prebiotic and probiotic foods, probiotic foods include cassette, yogurt with the live, active cultures, fermented vegetables, sauerkraut, kempe, kombucha tea, kombucha tea, kimchi and misa. Prebiotic foods include garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, jerusalem antichokes, dandelion greens, bananas and seaweed. A more general rule is to eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, beans and whole grains for dietary prebiotics. Don't use any process to this thing. Okay. Refine. Deficiencies in zinc, selenium, iron, copper, folic acid and vitamins A, B, B6, C, D and E can alter immune responses. These nutrients help the immune system in several ways, working as an antioxidant to protect healthy cells, supporting growth and activity of immune cells and producing antibodies. Epidemiological studies find that those who are poorly nourished, nourished are at greater risk of bacterial, viral and other infections. Eating a good quality diet as depicted by the healthy eating plate can prevent deficiencies in these nutrients. Eight steps to help support a healthy immune system. Eat a balanced diet with whole fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains and plenty of water. A Mediterranean diet is one option that includes both that includes these types of foods. If a balanced diet is not, not readily accessible, taking a multivitamin containing the RDF for several nutrients may be used. Don't smoke or stop smoking if you do drink alcohol in moderation, only if you like to. Perform moderate regular exercise, aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep nightly. Try to keep a sleep schedule, waking up and going to bed around the same time each day. Our body clock or circadian rhythm regulates feelings of sleepiness and wakefulness. So having a consistent sleep schedule maintain, uh, maintains a balance to circa circadian rhythm so that we can enter deeper, more restful sleep. Aim to manage stress. This is easier said than done. But try to find some healthy strategies that work well for you and your lifestyle. Whether that be exercise, meditation or a particular hobby or talking to your trusted friend. Another tip is to practice regular conscious breathing throughout the day and when feelings of stress arise. It does not have to be long, even a few breaths can help. If you, have, if you would like some guidance, try this short mindful breathing exercise. Wash hands throughout the day when coming from outdoors before and after preparing and eating food and after using the toilet in particular after coughing or blowing your nose. I have provided general guidelines based on my own perception and literature available to enhance natural immunity of human beings. One needs to customize these based on field trials and evidence. What works for one may not work the same way for others, hence one has to exercise due care and never do anything blindly. Try out and if it suits your body then you may practice it throughout your life. Never lead a sedentary life, be active within our capability, follow a healthy lifestyle. Our body is such a wonderful machine created by the Supreme One. 
also known as God, and if there is and there is nothing equal unto it, so utilize this wonderful machine the best possible way. Debates, discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, you know, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again very soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements we use express our solely mind based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with the closed captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As for my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far, I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today, I must have taken 12 minutes maybe. This time and is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural or unnatural events. So maybe bio war, cyber war, whatever crap it is, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony.